This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. go from now until uh, midnight tonight, uh, Eastern Time. And for those of you trying to find us on YouTube, um, usually you could go to uh, youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live. But for some reason, that link does not seem to be working tonight. But if you go to my Facebook page, there is a link there that will take you directly to a page where you can then look at the, uh, at the, at the, at the live program. I'm sorry about that. Every, all these companies keep screwing up and screwing up and screwing up, and I don't know why I keep doing this, but just let me know if it's been easy enough for you to find us tonight. In the meantime, we got to check in with an old friend. I mean, an old friend. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no one quite like Larry Brown. Hello, Bubbles. <laughs> and we can take that in many ways, yes. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I was talking about you on uh, last night's show, and I'm trying to remember the quote of yours that I, uh, that I was using, and everybody laughed heartily. Really? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not, I, it's funny. I can't remember the joke. <laughs> well, I can't remember half my jokes myself, so. Uh... Uh, yeah. So how you doing there, Bubs? Okay, I'm coming up on my 37th anniversary, which is horrifying and depressing. But. What do you mean, you, you mean uh, of marriage? Of uh, yes, marriage to comedy. Yes, March 3rd will be the uh, the date. So it just really hit me. God, so much time's gone by. How many years? 37. Be 37. So you started in when? March 3rd, 81. And where was that? Holy City Zoo. The Holy City Zoo. Wow. Which was probably smaller than your apartment. Oh, e easily. Easily yeah. smaller. Than, you could fit it probably. You Literally, could right? fit that in my uh, dining room and my living room. Those two combined were about the size of the Holy City Zoo. Yeah. And I, I, I appeared at the Holy City Zoo once, and it scared the shit out of me. Because... You know, for somebody like myself, if there are, I, I could go out to Stanford and do a thing at Frost Amphitheater in front mm -hmm. of 9,000 people, and it doesn't bother me at all. But get up on a stage where there are 10 people in the audience, and they're right there at your feet, and that's scary. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I think starting out, it was good when you started out, but after a couple of years, the room kind of freaked me out. I didn't like it. Yeah, well, the yeah, reason they're, it's they're scary... right on top of you. It's very uh, intimidating. Well, people say, how can you go out in front of 9,000 people? And when you go out in front of 9,000 people, and I think you'll agree with me, did you do any of those shows with me, like The Frost or whatever? Oh, yeah, that was yeah. amazing. It's just like it's this wall of people. So it, it, it has no personality. Whereas when you got 10 people sitting in a front row and that's it in the whole club. Three feet from you. Yeah. That's fucking scary. Yeah, very intimidating, yeah. Yeah. So I, I uh, so anyway, uh, so how many years now? 36? 37. 37. <laughs> uh, that is roughly, uh, well, it's not... It's over uh, less than half my life. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're how old now? Uh, I've hit Medicare, so yeah. You hit Medicare, so you're 65. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you like Medicare so far? So far, it's been working. Yeah. 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 Do I don't. I get it through Kaiser, so it's not like. I think I just took the straight Medicare. It would be less, but. I'm kind of stuck in the Kaiser system, so they. Oh, so you have the supplemental, is what? Yeah, you have. You yeah. Pay so for they the actually charge me for things that I think 
that you probably get for free or much less than I'm paying, but it's still not bad. Yeah, I mean, I mean, do you uh, do you have a copay and things like that? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, but what you're getting from Kaiser now is a supplemental to your Medicare. In other words, mm-hmm. you have your full Medicare, but then you have through them, I guess, a supplemental, which uh, they take care. In other words, uh, Medicare takes care of eighty percent, and what the supplemental does is take care of the other twenty percent. Right. See. So that's that's probably what you have. So so far so good. So far so good. A good trivia. Who was the first person to sign up for Medicare? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? Uh huh. The first person to sign up for Medicare. Uh, I would say it was Lyndon Johnson. Very good. It was Harry Truman. Oh really? I'm I'm close. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. They had. I just remember when I was, I was really young when Medicare passed, and it just seemed like it wasn't a big deal. Now to get any type of health care done is a nightmare. So <laughs> I think the country ran better 50 years ago. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, so it was Harry. It was Harry Truman. Yeah, they had a big. It, it, Lyndon Johnson was there. He. Uh, they had a big ceremonial thing because it was Johnson's bill. And yeah. Uh, they had Truman sign up. But well, Johnson, I guess, wasn't old enough? Uh, well, he was, no, he wasn't 65 then. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. That's, that's, yeah, that's cool. But I, you know, everybody, they, they'd like to get rid of Medicare. Yeah, they'd like to get rid of Social Security, but they really can't because you've been paying into Social Security all your life. It's your money, yeah. right? They're, yeah, they're trying to. They're trying to do things with it. I don't know if they will. But. Now, I don't know what they would want to do instead of Medicare. But to me, Medicare has been uh, somewhat of a godsend, although because you have to pay. Here we go, folks. This is old people's radio again. <laughs> I wish people hate. <laughs> Let's call in with your, with, your, with your thoughts on Medicare, folks, <laughs> with your Medicare problems. Um <laughs> Medicare um, is probably one of the best programs we have, okay? Uh, and they'd love to get rid of it in order to build the wall or to pay for some other infrastructure stuff. That's Paul mm-hmm. Ryan's attitude. You know, we don't need Medicare. We, what do you mean you don't need Medicare? What do you want? If you cut out Medicare, I'm going to die, all right? Because I, I couldn't afford to go to a doctor. Neither could Bubbles, you know? Um but uh, you you have to then have this secondary, and the trouble is the secondary in many cases costs a lot of money. I know that when I, if I were to get the secondary, say through ARP, it's something like two hundred and fifty dollars a person. That's six five hundred dollars for my household. Yeah, I mean that's the kind of money I used to pay for health insurance. Period. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so, uh, but, but nevertheless, in fact, I think, Paul Ryan, you fucker, you asshole, I don't think we should get rid of Medicare. I think Medicare should take care of 100%. I mean, after all, I worked all my fucking life. I paid taxes to this country. I contributed whatever my part of this society is. And now that I'm over the age of 65, you should fucking pay for everything that, you know, that I need when it comes to going to a doctor. But you talk about the 20%. Let's say you don't get a supplemental, all right? Let's mm-hmm. say you get cancer, like my wife got pancreatic cancer. Who knows how, ex-wife, not my current wife, they got pancreatic cancer. Um, they operated on her. That was successful, and that was great. Um, that doesn't normally happen uh, with pancreatic cancer. But anyway, I'm sure the bill is at least three hundred thousand dollars. Easily, yeah. Easily, so maybe two, four. So okay, but let's say it's 000. let's just say it's arbitrarily three hundred thousand. Okay, and she doesn't have the supplemental. Let's say, but she does. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, but let's say she doesn't have the supplemental. What's twenty percent of three hundred thousand dollars? That's sixty thousand dollars. Can you afford sixty thousand dollars? Nope. And that was a life-saving operation. So, you know, guys like um, like our House Speaker, Paul Ryan, 
want to kill us old people. <laughs> but they've got the greatest health plan. They, they, they pay got, nothing for it. They've got like a great health plan. Yeah. They pay nothing for it. They have it if you spent two years as a congressman. You get it for the rest of your life. That's incredible. I mean, that's worth more than the two years they paid you. Yeah, so it'd be worth it to go to Congress for one session just to get that. Oh, it's you, but it's you and your family as well. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I mean, this idea that that uh, that uh, Paul Ryan wants to see people die, you know, fuck them. See, here's what I think. I think that it's time for if they if they cut out our, our Medicare, they cut out our Social Security, they try any of that shit. We should become violent. Old people. Number one. <laughs> number one. Let's say we have an old people revolution. Uh, we have an endless amount of suicide bombers, <laughs> mainly because some of those people have been given, like, you have pancreatic cancer, you have six months to live. Scrap the bomb to me, and I'll go down to Congress, <laughs> right? Or oh, they're severely depressed. <laughs> they think we're an easy thing. The fact is we're the most dangerous group in America <laughs> because hilarious. we have nothing to lose. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I mean, so uh, uh, but you, you've you've had some health scares in your time. I've had it. Yes, I've had uh, thyroid cancer, uh, melanoma, riddled, <laughs> y- y- riddled with cancer, <laughs> riddled, it is riddled with it. I wonder what that's just the part. You're just getting old. It's just one thing after another. So. Well, you know, I mean, my stuff is all like. Achy, painy stuff. Yeah. You know, it's not, um, and I'm also losing my memory. I'm losing my mind. Um, um, the other day, I'll t- tell you a story about, hey, folks, I'm the Sacagawea of aging, okay? I'm out there looking at the frontier, pointing ahead and said, saying, don't go there, but let's go here, Okay. Uh, they, I have we have a show here. It's called Connections, right? They come out of Florida, and every night at the end of the show, they post their show to my to the playlist. All right. And the other night, I suddenly noticed that they didn't post it, so I wrote them an email or a text saying, "Hey, you didn't post your latest show." And then after writing that and one uh, after writing that and sending it because that the evil is that you then send it and there's no way of retrieving it back, I suddenly realized it was Saturday, and they don't do a program on Saturday. Mm-hmm. I felt so old the minute <laughs> that happened. I felt like I was just you know completely out of it um I just find that my my uh, abilities are diminishing. I think my d- abilities as a broadcaster are diminishing. People say no, they're not, but I feel they are because it's just a little bit more difficult for me to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I don't notice it, but if you do, well, I do. You know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I, and it's very nice of you to say. Also, I don't look a day over 34, right? Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, so, so I mean, it, it's like uh, I just find that uh, things that I used to do and just uh, every week I go to Costco, okay? Try this one on for size. Every week I go to Costco and uh, uh, so I, uh, to, uh, I go to Costco and I buy uh, like a flat of uh, Diet Coke or a, a flat of uh, uh, Snapple, okay? Every week, lifting those things get a, gets a little harder. I've noticed. Wow. It used to be, I used really? to just pull those things, throw them right in the cart. Now it's... Uh, mm. <laughs> now, maybe that's because I don't work out and shit like that, but... Uh, I just, it's like everything's just a little bit more difficult, you know? Mm-hmm. I have to like, I, 
in the old days, I got to change a light bulb in a, in, a, in a ceiling fan or something like that. Hey, I get up there and do it. Now I call the super. Because mm. I'm afraid I'll fall off the ladder. Yeah. Right? This is what happens when you get older, folks. I know I don't want to depress you. And, and don't go, you know, don't go getting very depressed on me. But I'm just... Well, I am. I'm depressing you. But this is what happens when you age. You just, you know, so I don't have any, I mean, I haven't got, had a cancer. I haven't had a, you know, I have an enlarged prostate, so I take some pills for that. That's about it, you know. But I have like a torn meniscus in my knee and the bottom of my feet get numb. And, and it's an achy things. It's not anything that's, uh, um, it's, you know, like you've you've had some things that have impinged on your health, right? Yeah, they just make you they make you cranky. So, yeah, I mean, but what did you you had uh, you had uh, thyroid cancer, right? Yeah, which is not uncommon. No, it's uh, they said a third of the population has it. They died of something else and never know it. Yeah, so they removed your thyroid. Yeah, so as though you weren't. Tired enough most of the time. Yeah, so now you'd have to take a <laughs> pill every day. So you, had I known that uh, it probably wouldn't kill you, I wouldn't have had it done. But yeah, well, the surgeon, surgeon pressured me into it, Now I resent that. So. It, really? Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you need that thyroid for anyway? You just need it for energy. Yeah, just to stay awake. <laughs> and you and energy has never been part of your act. But no. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You, it's always your act has always been a low, which is probably why I never went anywhere. I was watching who was I watching last night? Kira Sultanovich, who's great, and just a really strong energy. And I think that's why crowds want. You know, uh, 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 what is he? Comic? She is a comic. She is yeah, a comic. She is a, uh, she is a comic. Yes. Okay. And where did you see her? The Throckmorton Theater in Mill Valley. Yeah, and she was really good. Oh, she was like. The laughs were as strong as like when Robin was back there a couple, three or four years ago, just ringing off the wall. Yeah, I just tore the place apart. Wow, what's her name again? Kira Sultanovich. Kira, she's been around. She was on. She used to do the, a lot on Leno a few years ago, and I think she's on Chelsea Handler's one of her first shows. Really? Well, how come now yeah. she seems to really be kicking ass? Yeah, you, I'm surprised she's not. I mean, she's known, but she should be famous. But I don't know. Yeah, I just. But we all know how that works. Gee, I just mistyped your name on something. So for this week, you're going to be Larry Bibbles Brown. Bibbles, <laughs> I like that. I'm tired of bubbles. Also, my typing is starting to fuck up. The first sign of Alzheimer's: typing errors. <laughs> <laughs> Calling bubbles bibbles. Bibbles. Okay, for well, from here on in, you're from here on in, you're no longer bubbles. At least for this week, you're bibbles. I'm gonna. I that might become permanent. I like it. You like bibbles? Yeah. <laughs> you should do a thing like who was it uh, uh, that kept changing his name? P Diddy. He, he, yeah. He was baby. He, he was P Diddy, and then he was something else, and ba ba ba. He kept changing his name every other week. He's changing his name. So you should do the same thing with bubbles. This week you're going to be every, bibbles. Yeah. Chameleon. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bibbles Brown. <laughs> if we ever do another show, I'm going to introduce you as Larry Bibbles Brown. That and, could happen. And everybody will go, I thought it was Bubbles. No, it's been Bibbles. You know. Yeah. So. Anyway. Uh, how, um, well, speaking of uh, yeah. death and aging, you know who just died was, uh, and I saw it at the Throckmorton last year, was Marty Allen, who was... Really, 90, I thought he was ninety. I thought ninety six. I thought he was dead. No, he was like he was running around the stage a year ago. Marty Allen, I I don't know if you feel this way about him, but I think it was one of the worst comics of all time. Not one of my favorites, but uh, just kind of amazing to see someone go that long. Well, they it was yeah. Allen and Rossi. Yeah, started as a team. That's when I saw him in the sixties as a yeah. kid on Merv. I and, think. And, and they kind of felt they were Martin and Lewis, right? Yeah. Although the Martin and Lewis, I'm trying to remember his name now. Did you ever see a movie called uh, Bela Lugosi meets the Boston Gorilla? And no, <laughs> it starred. It sounds uh, great. It, it starred Sammy. <laughs> 
Sammy Shapiro? Was that his name? I have to look it up here. Uh, his name was uh, Sammy. Yeah, yeah. And they, uh, he was, if you look at him, it's almost hard to tell he's not Jerry Lewis. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a, a very strange act. Um, uh, and uh, it was, uh, and Duke was the other guy's name, but I can't remember his last name now. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I used to know these. I have the movie here. It's, uh, oh, oh, excuse me. And let me type in Bela Lugosi. Bela Lugosi. Lugosi. Go see. Uh, meets the Brooklyn Gorilla. There it is. It's like second <laughs> list. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Sammy. Uh, God, why couldn't I remember the name? Duke Mitchell and Sammy Petrillo. And uh, Sammy Petrillo was the phony uh, uh, Jerry Lewis. And in fact, he was so good at it that um, uh, he was Jerry Lewis was on the Today Show, and they say, we have a clip from one of your old movies, and this goes so far back, you probably don't even remember it. And they showed a clip from Bela Lugosi meets the Boston Gorilla. When they came back to Jerry Lewis, he said, that's not me. Wow, that's I gotta Sa- see that this guy it sounds amazing. That's Sammy Petrillo. Go on, to, well, I have to tell you to go on to YouTube. Yeah, well, you know, that's gonna work. But by the, <laughs> by the time you, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna do for you, uh, so, you know, I, I felt very bad about you because you keep talking about still having that flip phone, right? Yeah. So I've got a couple of old iPhones here. Uh, I have one that I just got rid of that, that, that doesn't go back too far. Right, mm-hmm. and I was sent, thinking of sending you the uh, the iPhone, letting you initiate it and all that. But then I thought, in order to update it and do all those other things, you have to have the internet. Exactly. And if you did dial up and you had to update your iPhone, I think my by my reckoning, it would take two or three days. Probably past my uh, life expectancy. Yeah. But otherwise, I would send you one of these phones because I think you really should have a be, be in the modern age. Uh, so I if you I can get, I'll, I'll do this. If you somehow can get high speed internet into your house, okay, mm. I will give you my iPhone. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so you might you might consider somehow squeaking into the twenty first century. I, well, let me you know, see if I can try. I just uh, I tried. I called somebody the other day. They don't serve this part of the city, so don't serve what? Uh, high speed Sonic. They don't. Uh, they had a pretty good uh, price. Well, well don't they you don't. have what do you, what do you have? Don't you? What's your main cable company there? Uh, main. We got Comcast and uh, what's AT and T. Okay, well, one of them will do it. You know. Yeah, they're pretty. They charge. I hate dealing with them either. They both suck. Well, you you can get the lowest tier cable. You don't have cable, right? No. God, I just I do you believe this, ladies and gentlemen? This is a man I said was impervious to uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, 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 identity theft because there's no way they can steal your identity. You're not you. Ha- you have no way they can come after you, right? Mm-hmm. Although you have some credit cards, and they did find out a lot of credit cards a while back. Yeah. Now, you know what I got the other day? You're going to love this. I got a, a letter from Gary, my business manager. This came in the mail today. What should we do about it? And it's from Montgomery Ward saying I owe $143 uh, because it's not that I owe them that. I ordered something. And they can't send it to me until I put a down payment of $143. I never have been in a Montgomery Ward in my life, okay? Let alone been on their website, let alone signed up for anything. Mm -hmm. So I called them and I said, what's this about? I said, I didn't. Oh, they said, it's probably fraud. I said, okay, good. Nice of you to be so casual. They said, let's turn you over to our fraud department. And then I wait for 20 minutes on hold for their fraud department. And when I finally get them, it's like they could care less. 
Yeah, we see what the problem is. Yeah, it's been canceled. Thank you for calling. Bye. What? Why did you? <laughs> why did you send me to your fraud department? Your fraud department's a fraud. Yeah. You know, I I, I, I had no idea what it was about. So uh, you know, I, I, apparently nobody used my credit card because had they had my credit card, they would have used the credit card, right? But the, instead, yeah. they went online, charged this thing. They send me a thing to my post office box in San Rafael saying, you owe us this money before we can send the merchandise. So who would use that? that That's if, a that, bad. <laughs> and the thing, but the thing where I screwed up is I called them. They said, oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, there's some PlayStation uh, uh, controllers. I said, oh, okay. I should have asked them, what's the address they wanted it mailed to? Exactly. Because that would be the, then I would get a hold of them and say, what the fuck are you doing? You know, uh, try it again and I will have you arrested. Yes. Oh, maybe, we'll, yeah, I hope they don't try it again. Hey, Remember you know, the, uh, yeah. years ago, you, uh, there was a credit card that was charging you every month or something and they wouldn't stop and you finally just canceled the card and they call if you remember this then they called you <laughs> why'd you can <laughs> i can't remember that but it probably happened yeah, yeah. hey but listen you, we've run out of time it flies by it flies by with you it just keeps going by i mean half the time we talk about me but what the hell <laughs> oh you're more interesting anyway ladies and gentlemen he'll be back again next week we'll I, be back i promise you larry bubbles brown thanks bubs yeah thanks alex Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. And there's our old friend Larry Bubbles, or, or what did I call him? B Bibbles? <laughs> Larry Bibbles Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, bad typing on my part. Larry Bibbles Brown. Anyway, I uh, uh, love, love talking to Bubs. He's the best. Anyway, here we are uh, getting ready to do yet another citizens panel. Before I do, something strange happened. I just discovered it before we went on the air tonight. You know, the, uh, uh, the way you could, like, bookmark our page for our site, for our live thing, is, was uh, uh, youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live. But when you do that now, nothing comes up. Uh, now, either it's something screwed up at YouTube or whatever, but if you just simply go to facebook.com forward slash Bolo Bennett, then that page comes up, and then there's a thing that says live. Double-click on that, and it takes you to the page that you would have gotten the other way. And then bookmark that one and just keep it up all the time. Yeah, that's the best thing I can I can suggest. I don't know. They keep changing. These companies keep changing the game on me, and I really don't like them changing the game on me. Um, it's part of the problem that I have to deal with here. That and little technical things that keep me up till all hours of the night. Like last night, um, uh, um, the uh, what can we have? the Luddite. Uh, <laughs> Jack Bishop, who does the show right after this one, was having troubles getting onto our server here to be able to deposit his program, and I had to then walk him through it because it wasn't any kind of problem on our part. We didn't have anything wrong going on this end. It was on his end that they were having the problem. So uh, I had to figure out what the problem was, and it was simply it. He had to reboot his... Um, had to reboot his... Uh, his, uh, uh, you know, client that he uses to, to sign on to the server here. Uh, and that is a suggestion. By the way, the lines are open if you want to call. If you don't want to call, hey, I can go to bed early tonight. Uh, I say that every night. I never get to go to bed early because people call. Uh, anyway, uh, so I had a, uh, uh, it, it, what happens is, is that if you find that something doesn't work on your computer, something you always use, a browser or whatever, just, you know, close out the program and start it again, but really close it out. Go quit. Boom, stop it. And then start it up again, and it'll probably work okay. Or if somebody's something's really not working well, either with, your, with any kind of electronic equipment you own, just pull the plug, and then plug it back in and let it boot right up. 
and usually the reboot will solve the problem. So that's, that's my, that, that's the depth of my technical ability here. Oh, look who's calling. First up, up tonight is our old friend from Plano, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, there he is. Scott Boddicker. Hello, Scott. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Okay, yeah. Can I, can I, can I uh, comment on some of the bubbles conversation you had? Yeah, sure, go right ahead. Lyndon Johnson never made it to 65. He died at 64 and a half, so he never got to Medicare. Even though he's the guy that gave it to us. He never made it, so he, he saved us some money, I guess. Yeah, but, uh, you know, Bubbles always has little facts like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, well, Truman, yeah. Truman yeah. got it a few years, didn't he? I don't know when he died exactly. Yeah. I'd have to look him up. But he was the first one to sign up for Medicare. Yeah. Uh, hi, yeah. Rob. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, you're spinning around, so start it and st stop it and start it again, and it will probably be okay. There, There's your face. And now, come on, come on, picture, come on. There he is. All right, now we have him. Uh, you know, the technology is just, like, I can't figure out what's, what the hell happened with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, YouTube and, and the way in which I use this, uh, use people to call, which was just Facebook.com, or excuse me, YouTube.com forward slash uh, Bolo Bennett forward slash live, and you got the live feed, right? It was that easy. Well, all of a sudden, that doesn't work. A blank page comes up. So mm -hmm. now you have to go over to YouTube, put in Alex Bennett, go to my channel. You'll find the live lead there. And then bookmark that one, the one that you come up with, with the picture. Uh, so um, I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody. Quite frankly, it makes little or no sense to me. Boy, everybody's calling tonight. Uh, J Jason, you there? Jason was calling, and now he's not there. Uh -huh. The Jason or another Jason? The, no, the Jason. I've got a. It's I, not Friday. I know it's not it's, Friday. It's Valentine's Day. You'd think that he would, you know. Oh uh, yeah. Wester today. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me try. Are you there, Jason? Let me let me try calling Jason. Maybe if I call Jason, no, I can't do it. Can't do it because he's supposedly logged on. Hello, Jason. Let me let me hang up on He's him, done. and then I could maybe call him, add to group call. There I do that, and now we'll call him and see if it if it works. Maybe he just butt called us or something like that. <laughs> and his wife said, "You cannot call tonight." Hello, Jason. Hey, how's it going? Are you there? Okay, turn on your camera. There we go. What? Well, uh, yeah, you had a little trouble the first time, huh? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, the Skype just shut down on me, and then uh, the second time. It was like trying to call him, and it just stopped. Well, nothing's working tonight. I mean, I'm having trouble with this YouTube. Uh, but people seem to be finding us okay because we got a lot of people watching us. So I guess everybody knows how to see the picture. So, yeah. and, and I was going to tell you, too, because I heard you saying something about your bolo or whatever. Yeah. Just type in Alex Bennett, and it comes right up. Well, what do you mean? When you, you, what, you go YouTube.com forward slash Alex Bennett? Just Oh, I don't know about that, but yep. you know, I open up YouTube in an app. I'm uh, pretty and, sure and most then, people probably oh, and do. And then you put in Alex Bennett, and you find my yeah. picture, and you click on that. And then, Boom, yeah. first thing right there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah, says that. if you're live or not. There are a lot. Of, it, it's not hard to find us. Apparently not, because we've got a lot of people listening tonight, in spite of the fact that Phil called. You know? And, so, hey, it's Valentine's Day. It, it's Valentine's I'm Day. Okay, now let me. Thursday or Friday. Yeah. Uh, I, what? Thursday or Friday. I'm not calling. Oh yeah, right. Because you're mad huh. at me, and you no, uh, you hate our audience, and you don't want to have anything to do with them. No, it's uh, just Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be nice because it's Lent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is Lent, isn't it? But but it it's it, did you get your now, ashes does on does it start today, Lent? Yes. So all those people who wanted to take, all those Catholics who wanted to take their loved one out to dinner can't do it, right? Yeah, they can have one yeah, meal. You can. Oh, you can have one meal. Well, okay. It depends on what you're giving up. You could, yeah. Yeah. You, there's no restriction on eating on yeah, Ash I'm Wednesday. Jewish. I don't know anything about this shit, you know? Yeah, so today did you become a dot head? Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, but with the, with the, you know, it was the saddest thing. You know, this horrible thing that happened down in Florida with these, uh, is it 17 are dead now? 
I think yeah. they, yeah. they, so they just count. So what? Some kid went into the school and started shooting it up, and the next Paul Ryan's going to say, well, it's not Gunn's fault. It, nah. it's not, no, it's not Gunn's fault at all. Anyway. No, it's but, the society yeah, it's for the, allowing this kid to. Yeah. Oh, uh, all right. To uh, just, just, we'll get to that just later. We'll get to that no nonsense problem. later. We'll listen to your idiot, idiocy later about this topic. Just, but, just point everyone towards the carpet one in uh, fucking California. Yeah, wherever. yeah. And everybody, bring your guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so uh, now where was I going with that? Oh, I a kid pulled the fire alarm. Everybody came out. No, no, out no, 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 him. no. That was one. I, but I was. Ref oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. That something like that happens, and of course, Paul Ryan won't do anything about it. You no. know, no, none of them will. No, you know, we how many kids have to be killed in schools before we start saying, you know, see, I'm all for just doing away with all firearms. You can't have them. Oh. I can't have them. Nobody you can. You don't have need them. to do that as long as you got thoughts and prayers. Just <laughs> give everybody a gun. Yeah. There's too many kids anyway. Come on, right. you got to get rid of a few of them. Thoughts and just fucking give everybody prayers. Everybody a gun. Teachers, kids, right. faculty, everybody. Well, anyway, so I was, well, I was getting you. You know, you know where I was going with this was Valentine's Day. Okay, so today was Valentine's Day, and it's Lent at the same time. Do they? You can celebrate Valentine's Day and Lent at the same time. Right, you can't even get laid. Same you Valentine's can even, Day massacre. Well, uh, well, with Lent, you give up something, right? Yeah, that's your choice. Yeah, yeah you, you can. I mean, lots of people do. You heard what Patrick's, Patrick gave up. He gave up walking. Yeah. <laughs> he, he gave up. A, he gave his list last night. Yeah. Yeah, it was a very good list, too. <laughs> He's really sacrificing. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving up uh, cheating on my wife, yeah. uh, you know, which I haven't done. Because there's a good reason. Nobody wants to cheat with you. She, well, that that's one good reason. Yes, you hit the nail on the head on that one. But even if there was, and I did, she would kill me. So you know, I mean, you've got uh, to sleep. Yeah, yeah, and that's another reason for us not to have guns. So she can't get one. Anyway, yeah. um, so today was Valentine's Day, which I consider the most treacherous day of the year. It's Number another one. Valentine's Day massacre. No, no, what happened was, is it wasn't, to begin with, it wasn't like some ancient holiday that somehow came down through the ages and touched us all, all right? No, it's a holiday that came down and it bought from Hallmark and touched us uh, all. Uh, there's a saint. I think it was St. Valentine. <clears throat> and, you know, there's, there's other saints that are very important saints. You know, there's St. Christopher, but the one I like is They gave St. him Parker. a medal. What? St. Parker. He's the patron saint of parking places. Uh, yes, and right. if you pray to St. Parker, you find a parking yeah, space. Yeah, we know that one. Now, let's get back to same, Let's get back to Valentine's Day. So, it, basically, it's a holiday that was promoted by Hallmark so they could have some reason to sell cards. I don't know when we first started going with this nonsense, but it had to be just a few years ago. Okay. How much the most you've ever paid for a gift card? Like, uh, you know, today, today I, I bought today, a card. Today, it was today, $11. Today was the most I ever paid for one. It was nine and a half dollars. Yeah. When I used to work in a drugstore, they were 50 and 75 cents. I, right. Do you remember when you were a kid, there was a book full of them that you cut out <laughs> <laughs> and you handed, the, you handed to your classmates, you know, here's my Valentine to you, you know, yeah. yeah. Book, books of Valentine. But, the cards were, eh, yeah, maybe a buck. 50 maybe cents, 50 75 cents. cents. If you paid a buck and a quarter. So, so, well, got, a so I went in today and I found one that said, you're you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're this, you're that. And then when you open it up, it has like a, one of those one of those <laughs> pop-up things, you know. Yeah. And it goes, and I'm the luckiest husband in the world. I just liked it because it was a pop-up because I had pop-up books here. And, you um, like pop-up things, right? Yeah, I like pop-up pop things. It's, yes, especially I certain was things. Looking that, at maybe like business cards that were pop-ups. Actually, we had at play a business yeah. card that was a pop-up. You open up the, the the card, and the word mm -hmm. "play" came up. It, 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 they were very expensive cards to make, so after a while, they stopped making them. And yeah. I don't have one now. I wish I did. I had a whole box of them, and they were really very special. Maybe Damien's got them in a, in the storage room. And we, we have to ask him what his Valentine's Day gift, that, and probably that his wife let him call the show tonight. Yeah. <laughs> his, uh, Jason, 
I'm out of town, so. Oh, you're out of town. Oh, so you're cheating. Yeah. You're cheating on your wife is what yeah. you're doing. With us. Yeah, with on Valentine's, us. huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but anyway, we'll yeah. get to where you are in a second. But anyway, uh, so my question is, uh, yes, the, the Valentine's Day card that I bought today, I, I went, I got saw the card. I went in. I figured, yeah, it's going to be, you know, four bucks, maybe uh, five. Nine and, a, nine and a half dollars. Did now, I wonder, too? now tomorrow they're probably going to be 35 cents. But today they were nine and a half dollars. Well, so then you go tomorrow when you buy it for next year. Well, you know what I do? I never take I her. Do. I never take her out to dinner on Valentine's Day. I get the shittiest meal. We did that one year, uh, yeah. and we went to one of our favorite restaurants, and it was a pre-fee thing, where you had you know had had this limited menu. It wasn't like the normal time we go there on my birthday when it's I have the whole menu to choose from. And they had a combo, so they raised the price on everything. Yeah, of course. Okay. They, and they want you in and out because of seatings and all that. It's right. very. Um, huh? I walked in. I walked in the door like two minutes ago. Really? Because you yeah. you had to take her out to. She took me. She took you, and I bet yeah. the restaurant there was a limited menu, and uh, they charged more. We went to Casa Arinda. She was in the mood for uh, fried chicken, which they have the best. And I was in the mood for a steak. But to tell you the truth, I would have rather have had her fried chicken. It was so it was so good. Yeah. Well, actually, Popeye's is the best fried chicken. But uh, let's no, not you, get into that. Asta, Arinda, not... and Arinda. What, what are you giving me a look for, Jason? You don't like Popeye's chicken? It, it, it's all right, but there's other little mom and pop places. Oh, that are oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Anyway, getting back to all of this. So this is the day. When we are somehow forced to buy a card, buy mm -hmm. uh, some flowers, and three dozen tulips. Huh? I got tulips. You got Thank tulips for Costco. I went in the Costco. Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh, there's not too many roses left." This is like four thirty tonight. You know. And, where, where do you think uh, I got my flowers today? You Costco. Costco. Yeah. <laughs> you know too. why? I've always found that they have the best flowers. They last yeah. the longest. And I, I learned a little hint. You know how you get roses and they're all kind of closed? Yeah. You know how you get them to open up? Aspirin. Aspirin. No. Breathe on them. Just go. Depends on your breath. Well, it, it, it has nothing to do with your breath. It has to do with the warmth Carbon of your dioxide. breath. Yeah. And it, 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 uh, it causes them to, uh, to open. But anyway. Don't open on their own? Huh? Yeah, eventually. Sometimes. I've had roses just stayed shut for the whole thing until they wilted away. If you get them on Valentine's Day, you get you get shitty flowers. My my ex wife used to be in that business, and it was the worst time to buy flowers. Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. Yeah, but you but you got when to. When you were in the city, did you, you you your place was right down the street where you worked from the flower mart in San Francisco? Did you ever go into the flower mart and Wait, and, flower, and see you? the flower mart? Where was that? San Francisco. Well, I know uh, it's in San Francisco, but where in San Francisco? A couple blocks from uh, 10th and Market. Well, I don't didn't live down there. No, I didn't live there. That's where you worked. 10th and Market? No. Yeah, the you know the uh, the the oh, um, uh, what you call oh, it building? Oh, well, it's now you know what it is now. It's the Twitter. Uh, it's the Twitter building. Right. Yeah. It used to be the merchandise mart. It was a merchandise mart. Yeah. I had an office there. Oh, okay. So, I don't remember. I never. I, I never saw flower store there uh it was two three blocks down but, but anyway the thing is that you can't buy the flowers the day beforehand because they're going to get wilted by the next day you can't buy them the day afterwards and say here are your flowers retroactively because you give you a dirty look out the hard way. so you've got to buy the flowers on that day and that's why you're probably the florists are selling you all the flowers that are dying fast you know, well, they, they have to go crazy to get these shipments in, and they buy whatever. There's no, there's no, um, uh, there's no, so yeah, there's no selection process. I like these. I don't like these. It's just ram them in. Whatever you can yeah. get me, I'm going to sell. At, at 4:30 tonight, I like red roses. There were none. You could get any color but red, and and they all and different colors came in the say bouquet. So that's why I got the tulips. And uh, the, the tools were nice. See, know? I went at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and they were lousy with roses at Costco. Really? Yeah. yeah. So I bought, I bought her some roses. But I didn't just do that. She is on this 
Oh, God, this god-awful diet. She has an a, a, some a, allergy, and they've never been able to figure out what it is, and she keeps shooting herself up with drugs to keep, her from, to keep her from itching, right? <laughs> so they're trying to figure out what it is. So finally, they put her on this diet that's very restrictive. I mean... Gluten-free? Huh? Gluten. gluten -free. Uh, I think it's water-free. I think they're, everything that is known to mankind she can't have except maybe steak and chicken. Yeah. And, and so uh, naturally, I couldn't do chocolates for her, right? Mm -hmm. But the yeah. thing she's been doing for herself is making smoothies. But now she even is beginning to find that in making this, uh, when she tried to make a smoothie last night, she had a problem with it because all of a sudden... The blender I bought several years ago decided to just die. Mm -mm. You know, the motor just went. Pfft. Yeah. So I went to Costco and I bought her a blender for you Valentine's Day. Ninja? And a yeah, Ninja, yeah. I use a Ninja at work and I have a Vitamix at home. The Ninja does a better job of making smoothies. Really? Vitamix uh, right. makes a lot more foam. Yeah. Well, this this was it. This was a. a, a um, and they, they weren't particularly cheap, but, you know, uh, I remember bl blenders used to be like 20 bucks, you know. You used to get you open up a bank account at the bank. You either got a blender you, or a toaster. You got a blender or a toaster, exactly. So anyway, I got this brand. She never heard of it, of course, the Ninja, but I've heard of it. And yeah. I figure, it, you know, if she doesn't like it, guess what I can do at Costco? Take it back. Well, I had a Nutribullet, and it died. Uh, a miserable death. And then I got what, the what ninja. What do you mean a miserable death? Did it shoot itself in the head or something? No, it started making all these noises, and and you started getting this metallic taste. <laughs> 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 well, oh, that's never good. That, that that's what it tastes like to bite the bullet. Yeah, it, it was definitely uh, a, a miserable death. Yeah. So th that's your your yeah. Anyway, so um, th that was terrible. Anyway, um, so. Uh, I got her the mixer, and I brought her home and that and the card and uh, the the roses, and I was a hero, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She she and and I said, if you don't like the mixer, we can always take it back. And she tried it once, and she said, this is terrific. And now we got another mixer. She has a she was using her Cuisinart to make her smoothies, and that's a big problem, you know. Clean up too. Huh? Yeah, a lot of clean up. You know. Yeah. So anyway, that was so. What did you do, Rob? Uh, well, we're on that strict diet, so there's no going out to eat and no chocolates or anything like right, that. Right. So, right. Right. Uh, Same situation here. Okay. Yeah. So what what I did was we, you know, I've been watching the two of us have been watching QVC, and got kind of got hooked on it, and so there were a bunch of things over the past several weeks that I bought her. Um, for Valentine's Day. We've been watching something, whether it be makeup or whether it be whatever, mm -hmm. just a bunch of different things mm -hmm. uh, that made up Valentine's Day. And uh, I gave her a card today, a $12 card. Wow. Hey, I, I thought the only way to get hooked on QVC is when they're selling heroin. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, <laughs> you, you, you can, tell me if I'm nuts about this. I'll be flipping through the dial, channel surfing, and all of a sudden... There will be a show on like uh, demonstrating a vacuum cleaner or demonstrating something. Uh, oh, and, an infomercial? And I will stop and watch it. <laughs> you know, I find that these people on QVC, because I'm, you know, it's, there are times when I don't want to really pay attention to TV. Yeah. You know, I don't want to get into a new series. I don't want to watch a movie. I just want it on. Mm -hmm. And you find that these people have pleasant personalities and they they keep uh there's a cadence to it that keeps it moving and so it never gets boring or dull and you know they joke around and uh, like i was watching the, the food program tonight uh yeah. you know it's all about different kitchen items which are i like i get crazy for kitchen items right mm -hmm. um and different i bought tonight i bought six pounds of these awesome looking meatballs that are all made with all natural ingredients. The difference is they're stuffed in the center with fresh mozzarella. Oh. Have you ever had those meatballs? They sell at Ikea. 
No. Well, you, you have to put them together, though, don't you? No, a, if, if, schematic. It would be an improvement. I mean, I've never taken a look at instructions. instructions. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> Uh, as the as the meatballs at IKEA, and they're cheap. They're like ninety nine cents for three million of them. Uh, I'll tell you, this is six pounds, and they also had s six pounds. I didn't buy it, but they. I, I was so tempted. Six pounds of the tenderloin tips. You know the the uh, filet mignons. Yeah. Tried to. The, they're they just all the tips, right? And it's uh, what's the name of that company? They they sell to all the restaurants. There's a, a big steak company. They they were on selling Cisco. them. What's it? Cisco. Their restaurant supply. Cisco. That's no, why I don't think that was them. It was a steak company. Omaha what's steak this other steak company, company that always had sure. Omaha Steaks? Yeah, but no, it wasn't Omaha. It was yeah. another steak company, what and they were selling six pounds of these tips for eighty four bucks. Good deal. Yeah. Is that a deal? Yeah, it's a good yeah, deal. So, that's for filet mignon. That's well, filet. Thirteen dollars a pound. Yeah. Well, yeah. listen, yeah. compared to uh, the that. price of beef lately, has been. I don't even Crazy. buy it anymore. It it costs so much. I mean, I it's buy really my steaks at Costco and a ribeyes are like was it sixteen dollars a pound? Yeah, and that's ribeye. They talk filet. Yeah, now, we I, I we have a place here out. called Stu Leonard's. Most people are not familiar with Stu Leonard's, but here in, in New York, they are. And Stu Leonard's has this uh, uh, one place up in that we go to in Connecticut that, in fact, it's a path you take to go through the store. And um, uh, it, 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 their meat there is not bad. A girlfriend bought some ribeyes the other night, day, and we figured, ah, they're probably going to be crappy. And they were delicious. They were well, wonderful. I've been buying porterhouse steaks with the bone in at Whole Foods for fourteen ninety nine a pound. Well, Whole these Foods things are like places. two thing inches, two you know, two two inches thick. These these are you, you put it on the grill and it's you like know, butter. Whole Foods and, used I mean, to be very fun. expensive, but I hear the prices are starting to drop like crazy because Amazon yeah. bought them and yeah. wants to drive everybody out of the business. And today I got a thing for Amazon where I can now order from Amazon food and it'll be here within two hours because right. I live right near a Whole Foods and they del they're going to deliver it. Well, through Amazon Prime, they had this uh, this two-hour delivery thing in certain cities. San Francisco and Walnut Creek and New York are are, are three of them. Wow. Uh, yeah, they don't have that by me. Yeah, no, I know. There's only certain uh, certain markets that uh, that have that. But uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't tried it yet. But I you know I just I stop at the Whole Foods on the way home from work. I yeah. go to the meat counter. I grab my steak, and you know. I, I come home and go to sit it on the barbecue. May I apologize, please, to one of our listeners who doesn't call, but he writes like crazy. Uh, he calls himself Forbin Colossus. The guys, yeah, it's crazy. What, what you read? You read? You read them? Yeah, I read them occasionally, but in the early show, right beforehand, right? Yeah. Where do yeah. they write this stuff? We on the side of the uh, page. There is a chat yeah. going. You know, oh, not the Skype, but on the. On YouTube. Uh, on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And but he he keeps saying, "Damn you, Bennett Reed." Well, the uh, the the thing where I'm I would read it is over here, and I'm looking at my people over here. Okay. So I'm telling you now, it's very hard for me to necessarily see what you're reading, but occasionally I look over there, and all I see is. Uh, Forbin Colossus, Forbin Colossus, Forbin Colossus, Forbin Col Is there anybody else out there who would like to chat? I mean, if you're watching us, you're probably on the same page with the chat, so join in. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, Jason, you obviously didn't do anything for Valentine's Day because you're out of town. Why are you out of town? For work. Oh, can, you, can you even hear me? Because my thing is messing up. So I, can, I can hear you fine. A little bit. Okay. You, you got a beautiful yeah. picture, and you I'm, sound. I'm looking perfect. at the YouTube thing. There's three thumbs up and one thumbs down. What moron gave you a thumbs down? <laughs> I, I don't know. Wait a minute. Oh, I have it on top chat. I should turn on the other part so I can see everything live chat, and I might get other people at, at some point here. See this chat? Huh? 
I don't see the chat, but that's yeah. okay. Yeah. It's to the right. It's to the right of the picture. I'm always to the right. But... Yeah, yeah, right. That's true. So maybe to the left for you then. Yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> you might be too far right. Anyway, so uh, so you couldn't do anything today, Jason. Scott, did you do anything? What did you do for Mrs. Scott? Um, I, I took a two-and-a-half-hour nap while she went to work. No, oh, I, I see. Okay. Uh, and uh, that was your present to her? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bother her. <laughs> so my wife, we're not into that at all anyway. Like she thinks it's dumb too. So, yeah. I my wife <laughs> will go, f will take any excuse for me to take her out to dinner. You know, uh, what day is it? This, oh, we're, this, we're celebrating next week. What are we celebrating? The first time you and I went to a movie? Oh, really? <laughs> Didn't we just celebrate our anniversary? Yeah. This is another anniversary. You know, I mean, it's just on and on and on like that. And I go, do you mind? Do you mind if we not go out to dinner? What? We never go out to dinner. We do every time there's an occasion. But we don't do Valentine's Day anymore because you get ripped off. And she even agrees with that. So, you know, who needs that? You don't need it. So what's been happening? We had this thing in the news today. We had this shooting down in Florida. And how how many times are we going to see this story continue to repeat itself? You know, uh, it's uh, it, it it's getting to be. Uh, I don't want to say tiresome. That's not normal. the word. It's it what? Brutal. Normal, right? No, normal. Well, normal. It's the new norm. But you know, come on. To begin with, gee, guns, a kid shooting in a school, Florida. Boy, those seem to be yeah. synonymous with each other. The only difference here is that uh, this is the first time the gunman didn't either kill himself or get killed. Right. You know, so that's going to be interesting. You know, how's it going to be interesting? We're, he's not. Well, I mean, I, I'm assuming they'll learn from him. Maybe they'll. They should. What they should do is put him in a cage and 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 study him. He's 19, <laughs> so he'll be tried as an adult. He's an adult. Yeah, it well, is but first, if, if 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 what you're saying, Mr. Gun Lover, if what you're saying is true, then he's mentally disturbed and maybe can't stand trial. Yes, that's true. Well, you know, you know, you know uh, what it is. I uh, let me just put it this way. I would go for an insanity defense if I were a lawyer, because here's my argument to say this guy isn't insane is to say taking a gun going into a schoolroom and shooting it up and killing 17 people is a rational act. Right. And I, know, I would hate did it themselves. Let me see here. Uh, Jason has his hand up, his whole hand up, by the way. It's right. Yeah, sorry. I'm on my iPad. Yeah. But <clears throat> his last name, I think was Cruz. Yeah. So he's yeah. probably some, uh, he's a dreamer of Hispanic. So he's I'm just great. Build the wall. Get a kick off. <laughs> I, I don't think he was Hispanic. I, I don't, he didn't look Hispanic, but uh, how could you, you know, say he didn't look Hispanic? I haven't seen a picture of him yet. Have you? Yeah, yeah they got a picture yeah, of him. Yeah, they later. show pictures. Oh, of him. do they? Oh, okay. I thought he did. Yeah, red hair. How's it spelled? C R U Z uh, or C R U S E? <clears throat> I, I don't. I don't see. I don't see the spelling of the name. But they got his picture laying on the ground. Uh, you know, you know where I stand on this. I think it's the, uh, the, the, the problem occurs because the school system and the parents uh, take the easy way out and they drug these kids up and, uh, you know, they let them go out into society. And then when they stop taking the drugs, they grab the parents' gun, which should be locked up, and uh, they go out and shoot a bunch of people. Well, I think, well, I think it also is the everybody's a winner thing. And when you're not a winner, he got kicked out of school recently. Right? Yeah, but you know what? He, uh, some student uh, was interviewed, and he said, I know this guy, and every teacher in the school, he has a problem with every teacher in the school. So when you see a problem kid like this and you don't get him help, you know, uh, this is what they do. 
So and who 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 are you blaming for that? Like, like, because because school. what I love about the Republicans is every time there's a problem like this, they assign the blame this somewhere Phil, other than where the Phil problem Meyer, is. Not a Republican. This is Phil Meyer saying that the school and the parents and society are to, are to fault for this to allow this kid to uh, to function the way he's functioning, and uh, then they go out and do shit like this. They they've had these signs all along that you know th this kid's been acting out yeah but i don't i don't care about any of that what we have are 19 de uh, 17 dead kids all right well Plain you're being simple. myoptic myoptic myopic <laughs> <laughs> myoptic yeah myoptic looked at my eyes he said you need a new glasses <laughs> well uh so you you you're you're, you're you've got blinders on yeah. You know, uh, so this is the reaction. You're, you're talking about the reaction, not the thing that caused the problem in the first place. Yeah, yeah. And, well, and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. the kid took if the gun. Have a gun yeah, yeah. Happens. Let's let, let's throw the, the gun. He'd use manure. Let's divert the blame and not come to the not come to solutions. Okay, that's right. And that's what you do when you blame the gun. Even on Fox News, I, you know, I put on Fox News to see how they were covering it. it, it First of all, it's interesting, finally, to see Fox News covering the same news as the other news channels. So that was good. And they were actually saying, you know, maybe this, you know, you think maybe this time we'll get some legislation around guns and all that. I couldn't believe I was hearing it out of Fox News. Blew my mind. Gales is gone. Well, I, I just I, I think that there's a point at which we have to suddenly say it's not a good idea and uh, it's terrible. Uh and uh, we've got we've got to we've got to come to an answer on this thing. Hello, first of all, to Renee. She's in Hawaii, and if why don't you just move the camera just a little bit so we'll still see the sunset, but we'll also see you. There we go. That's perfect. That's wonderful. Yes, Jason. It's a little bit of hair like cousin it. <laughs> I'm disgusting. I gotta sign out because my my computer's screwing up so much, and I should go to bed. So, oh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, away from home. Uh, uh, Skyping on a uh, on this thing. What, what, what are you doing? Where are you? you he's in a, he's probably in a hotel. Is why the Wi-Fi is so yeah. iffy for him. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Cleveland. Yeah, I'm in Cleveland in a hotel. So yeah, at Cleveland. Okay, Rock. Jason, That's try and call us on fr uh, try and call us on Friday since that will be your every other Friday. Hey, my wife's gonna come into town, so I can't. <laughs> oh, you mean oh, you mean you're right. gonna still be in Cleveland? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually I'm here for three weeks. Oh wow! Well, listen, when she leaves yeah, next so, uh, time, you can call anytime you want to, and she's not there to say. Or is she going to come stay? Is this a uh, telephone? Uh, no, she's she, she coming in for the weekend. So yeah, I, I think I might try to call a couple of times, but I probably won't be able to stay. You know, for the whole show. Yeah, no, that's okay. But we love we, we, we love seeing so you and having telephone you. convention or something. Uh, we're doing a fiber project. You know, like same like Alex got in his apartment building. Yeah, we're yeah. doing some apartment buildings down here, putting in fiber. So the fiber project, oh. they're going to eat lots of oatmeal. Uh, yeah, stick your regular. <laughs> well, shit Thanks, really man. good. Yes, Renee. So. I just want to say right, good night. no. Good night, Jason. But protect Sam if she's going to that shithole state of Ohio. <laughs> All right. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. That's uh, that's Jason, ladies and gentlemen, who. Uh, whose wife occasionally will let him call the program, and when she's not there, he'll also call the program, which I think is uh, appropriate. Uh, thank you, Jason. Remove person from group. There we go. Uh, hello, Renee. There you are. The sun's going down in Hawaii. You love to show us that sunset. It's it's perfectly sending light through your hair. That's Ah, uh, thank you. Yes. Well, the hair light. Yeah. yeah it's um, so it's been really bad. So... I had to go to Honolulu last week, but I listened to you guys anyway. And we've been socked in because we've been having weather from the south. And then we had a fire um, close between us and Kona. And we haven't seen the sun in probably, I haven't seen the sun in like three days now. So hey, this Renee. is kind of the first time it's And you bought that Next house for the sunsets, damn it. Plague. What? Next is the locusts and the plague. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Now that's for God-fearing people. That's for the people who believe that yeah. Lent was important. Okay. But let's get let's get back to this thing. You know, um, I'm sorry, but I just I just think 
that we have to do something about guns and we have to do something of a aggressive nature. Uh, I don't think that the Constitution provides for people to have the right to bear arms promiscuously. Uh, it does provide it for a well-ordered militia. That means the police can have them. Uh, but that's a militia. But, you know, uh, Scott isn't a militia and Rob isn't a militia. And I got news for I, you. You are because you're part of the police. Yeah. But Yeah. But let me tell you something. Mm. If this kid took a 67 Oldsmobile mm -hmm. and mowed 17 kids down at a bus stop, would you be yelling to get all Oldsmobiles off the street? Was he licensed? Was he insured? An automobile. Did he have proof? An automobile Did has a purpose. A yeah, gun has the gun? no purpose but to kill. No, nah, the gun has plenty of purpose. No, 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 tell me, tell me what, oh, yes, I forgot. You can turn the gun over and use the butt to drive nails into a board. Right, there you go. Yeah, yeah I forgot. Know, there was another those, reason for a gun. Those paper targets over there, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, that that is for fun and skill, and I say, fine, you can have a gun for target shooting as long as you keep the gun at the target range. Well, I, I keep it uh, in, in a safe. Well, that's very so nice. But if you were to go off, if you were to go off, you have the combination of that safe. Yeah, but if I was that pissed off, I couldn't remember it. <laughs> you know? No, no, you, you can't know. can't compare a car to a gun. I mean, there are people who, who's, who's to say that you don't get a brain tumor and yeah. something goes wacky in your brain and you unlock that safe and go out and kill half the neighborhood. Wait a second. He voted for Trump. Park. I think that's already true. Yeah. <laughs> they need more parking. What'd you say, Renee? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Own your words, Renee. Own your words. Oh, yeah. So here's the deal. We have this conversation every time there's a shooting. There's a shooting almost every week, but definitely every two weeks. The conversation is, we don't think mentally unstable people should have guns. You country western people, you NRA people, don't carry that same thought process. So yes. as the shootings get to be more and more like on a weekly basis instead of a bi-weekly basis, all you're going to hear out of us is, you can fix it, you I just choose not I, to. I, I think you what's know. sick here is there is more effort on the part of these people put into preserving their right to bear arms yep. and to stop these kids from getting killed. Yeah. It's and your fault. The, and the it's, other thing, the I keep liberals, hearing, It's the liberals' fault. You know, they're the ones that say, oh, everybody's a winner. It's a, give them a participation trophy. Don't hurt not, his not, feelings. Not. That's, not, that's not a liberal thing. Don't put, don't put that's a bunch of stupid ass. parents who figure that kids don't have to achieve anything. Right. We, we want to give them a star. You want to give them something that they can kill somebody with. Uh, give them a gold Big star. Difference. Just for showing up. Stars today? Yeah. You know, and, but and no, but I'm saying, that, why is it that so much effort is put into maintaining the right to bear arms, supposedly, and that same effort is not being put into trying to solve this problem? Because well, yeah, nobody wants to solve it. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, Rob. Rob is answering Nobody it first. Nobody wants to solve it. And I'll tell you, quite frankly, I put on the news this afternoon, I've been paying attention to the, the important news that's going on because, to me, this isn't important. Yeah. Because yeah. if you keep banging your head against the wall, eventually right. you're going to get a concussion, right? Yeah. So you stop banging your head against the wall. I don't want to see... I don't care about these shootings anymore because nope. nobody's going to do anything about them. I put on the news today when I got a break from work. I took like an hour break yeah. this afternoon, and I wanted to hear more about the important stuff that's going on, like how this country is going to shit, and I see that, oh, look at this, and I, I turned it off. That's what made me put on Fox to see what they were doing. There is nothing that is important about this stuff anymore. I feel terrible for the parents. I would be devastated. I know that it's a horrible thing. But to cover it wall to wall, for what end? Yeah, what's, you're what's not the listening. End game here. Yeah, he's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. And that's and not being callous. And I, I, I have terrible empathy for these folks. It's horrible what happened. The, the Route 66 people are still saying, "Oh, it's too soon to talk about it." Guess what? More children just died because you can't pull your head out of your ass. You know, like, it's not your kid, so it's okay. It's too soon to joke about it. 
And no, they say it's too soon to talk about it. It's been a year. It, and the only reason Route 66 shooting happened is because the same reason this shooting happened. Right. You refuse. You refuse to admit that mentally ill people should not have guns. So, what Route 66 what, shooting? I, I refuse to call it Las Vegas because the country oh. music people are in bed with the NRA. I'm not dinging Las Vegas for this shooting. I'm digging the, dinging the people who actually did it. So... You country music people are in bed with the NRA. You get shot up. I'm going to say thoughts and prayers. Yeah, you're going to say thoughts and prayers? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say when they cry about all the people that they lost. Right. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to say thoughts and prayers. I'm going to say that's, that's what you get. You put, the gun, you put the gun in people's hands. You made it available. You know, those, those people vote Democratic. You know that uh, oh, the country people up. vote Democratic. Are you kidding no, no, me? The ones that get shot up, huh? The ones that get shot up, the, right? So all those people, the music country music people that were at the Route 66 concert were Democrats. No, the yeah. ones that are okay. shooting are your Republicans. The ones that get shot are the Democrats. That's it's just right. the way of thinning the herd. Yeah, well, we'd like to thin the herd. <laughs> and, and I decided. See, you guys think. You guys think that I'm pro I'm I'm against guns because I don't like because I think a gun is ugly. It's not ugly. It, it's just a thing. If I was going to shoot a gun, I I went online and I looked it up. I want to I was I would shoot a CAT5. That's with, a piece of wire. It's a sniper rifle gun. <laughs> yeah, it's a Cat 5. It's a sniper rifle gun that the Canadian, the longest recorded kill shot in history, and that's the gun the guy, the, the Canadian sniper rifle guy used. What are you going to do, shoot the whales out there? No, no, there's enough Republicans here that I could just pick those bastards. <laughs> oh, oh, here, there we go, there we go. There's no Republicans in Hawaii. By the way, anybody <laughs> wants to join this conversation, it's They're a good one. HOA. It's a good one. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I don't. Th I think it's a boring conversation because we're not saying anything. Yeah, new. Well, yeah, we, no, it, what we're going to do is we're going to feel upset about it. We're going to yeah. yell and scream about our ire about it happening. Phil is going to justify it, mm -hmm. and then after it's all through, uh, there'll be another shooting and another bunch of people dead. Yeah. And we'll it, gripe about that, and we'll you know for for a week or so, people get insane over this stuff, and then all of a sudden, it's back to business as usual. The conversation on this one is going to stop probably in about forty-five minutes. Yeah, because it's probably going to stop at about the, the next Sandy ten. Yeah. yeah. If nothing if not, happened at the Sandy Hook, nothing is going to happen. All yeah. I'm saying is, I love people who say, "Isn't this gun beautiful?" What? How? What? How's a gun beautiful? You know, yeah, I mean, it's a this, piece of hardware. It's a piece of hardware. Isn't this is isn't this hammer beautiful? Don't you just I'm love the the lines on this hammer? I'm not afraid of a hammer. I'm, I'm just not afraid of a tool. Look, that's used for that's got to use. Let for me it, let me. Everybody should have a hammer. Let me dis dis. Uh, dis Actually, with uh, government a seven hundred fifty. Let me disabuse uh, 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 Phil's statement. Uh, and, and try and tell him, because he probably doesn't know the difference between a gun and a car. All right? Well, look, in England... But, uh, wait, a minute. I, uh, wait a minute. Are you going to listen to me? I just started there. talking. Are you going to listen to me? All right. All right. You're asking me. Okay. Uh, 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 a car, you have to take uh, many, many lessons before you're even allowed to drive it. All right? How many lessons do you have to take for a gun in order to own one? Uh, in order to carry it or to own it? To, to own it and carry it. Well, it's two different things. Uh, no, to carry not it, Virginia. Well, not Virginia. To carry it concealed uh, in, in many states that have uh, those licenses require you to go through like a one-week uh, course of instruction and pass a proficiency test. That's, That's interesting state. because you're teaching people how to aim, shoot, and fire. Right. But you also with teach with a with a, with a car, car, it's slightly different. Feet. You're taught how to make it move forward, but not do any harm to anybody. 
Now, you, but part of the thing that you learn when you go to these courses is the laws of arrest, search, seizure, probable cause. They, 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 you no, know, no, 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 you're telling, you're telling about cops. We're talking about common people. If I want to own a gun, although I can't really own one that easily in New York City, but I mean, oh, I can. It, oh, okay, I, okay, I, I, okay. Well, wait a minute. Let's take, let's take Rob. Rob, you want to buy a gun tomorrow. What do, what do you have to do? The Sullivan Act. Can you let me ask a question here? What would you have to do, Phil? Uh, uh, well, Rob. I, I, when I first moved here in 2000, I think it was late 2007 or early 2008, That's I went Virginia. to the, the, in Virginia, mm -hmm. I went to the Dulles Expo and they had a, they had a, you know, a gun show there and I could have bought anything I wanted and walked out with it that day. Mm-hmm. People were walking around with, I mean, the kinds of things that were for sale would be a, your wet dream there, Phil. It's just, mm -hmm. and I, I, I was thinking about getting one because I was like, hmm, I can, so why not? And I was walking around and I just went, why do I want this? I don't. And I left. <laughs> yeah, but like, the, the point is, the point is, in, mo in most states of this country, you can buy a gun, and you don't have to take any lessons to use. No it. lessons, no nothing. All right, that's for You're, starters. That's for risk. starters. You don't have somebody also who then gives you a test to see if you can pass that test before you can own that gun. And maybe recertification after a couple of years, like no a driver's insurance. license. No safety checkup on the gun. Is it going to blow up in your face because you didn't put it back together? Uh, yeah. What, what about having a law where people who buy guns are required to show insurance like you do with a car? No. Why Could would I, they do that? Huh? It's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I've run into a few people on the island that actually are pro-gun people, and they say that... They don't even want to register their guns because then the government will know that they've got them. That's a possibility. Paranoid. That's you know, fucking paranoia. Look at, well, look at Koresh. You know, uh, they, they came for his guns uh, because they thought that he was buying uh, illegal parts. You know, uh, there, there are people that trust the government. And, uh, you know, it's not that I distrust the government but i am weary of uh of the government i don't, don't believe don't we have to register our cars aren't yep. we afraid the government's going to come for them you know why we <laughs> register our cars so the government can get tax money all well, well, maybe they get tax money but also also they gun. want they yeah, want cars reg up. registered so that they can uh, if if they're in an accident they can find the people who own the cars. I mean, there are a lot of reasons for registering cars. Somebody had an idea that I, I kind of support, that if you, you buy bullets, that the bullets would be registered to the person that bought them. So there'd be like some sort of micro something in the bullet uh, so that it would be traceable to the to the person who, who and then, bought them. I don't uh, think that's a great but, idea. But, but, that's a great it, idea. It's a great idea. The only problem is... You can make bullets yourself. Well, yes. Even still, you'd have to buy casings. Yeah, and, and you buy the so bullets. There'd be a whole illegal casings. market for casings. You, you know, load I mean, the bullets. You can true, reload true. casings, but it's not the casing that fires the round. It's the the projectile that could uh, that is usually not made. You know, well, you know, I, I got to tell you, I mean, we can sit here arguing about this thing all we want to till we're blue in the face. But I agree with Rob. Why talk about it? Because nothing's going to be done. All right. Yeah. If we if all, nothing all was done, if nothing, if, okay. if nothing was well, done when we had uh, uh, the uh, shooting in Connecticut, what was the name of that right. school? Sandy, yeah. Hook. Sandy, Sandy Hook. Hook. Uh, yeah. I, if nothing that didn't do it, if that didn't break the camel's back when little children were getting murdered. I think I, I don't think even this or a, a bunch of gays in a gay nightclub in Florida are going to make a difference. Nobody's going to do anything about it. Everybody's going to piss and moan for a day, and then it's back to business as usual. And then when the next one happens, Rob's going to come on here and be absolutely right when he says, I don't give a shit because nobody's doing anything about it. Right. We, we can't get the NRA people to understand that mentally ill people do not need to have firearms and they refuse to do anything about it. So guess what? You get shot up, eh. Not well, even try to do anything about it. Thoughts and prayers, bitches. 
Not even Tokyo people are not should not and uh, be in possession of a firearm. Uh, felons shouldn't be in a possession of a firearm. And I am all for uh, prosecuting the parents uh, or the owners of these firearms that get into the hands of someone that does these kinds of heinous acts. If you go to a bar and the bartender gives you too much alcohol and you get in your car and drive, that bartender is culpable. Right. If you go out and you kill somebody, that bartender's culpable. He's he just as if he drove the car. Phil, himself. what about the guy? So what about what, what, what about the, what He's about the gun manufacturer? Right. What about the guy who sold the gun to no, whoever? Because owned it's not. It. The oh, oh look, look what she got. It, look it's not the manufacturer, got. Scott. It's the guy who puts the gun in his hand. Who well, took the gun the, owner then the the, the store the, the gun uh, Walmart okay why, Walmart why, I don't care for the burden of responsibility the responsibility hey, should be on the people the, that own the bar the owner was just selling alcohol that's all he was doing yeah. that's all so, he was doing so the 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 storing the guns properly but, but, see, the nerve with Scott <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> The other issue is, is we won't prosecute them for hiring illegal aliens. Why the fuck would we prosecute them for selling guns? Well, of course not, because the illegal aliens can come to San Francisco and shoot nice, innocent women and kill them and not get convicted. Yeah. One woman got killed by an alien, and you've been touting that, and you and Trump it's forever. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, oh, by, the, by, the, by the way, by the way, Renee is showing us. Her sucker's it's dead. Unboxing. You know, unboxings yeah. usually get a lot of viewers. Yeah, oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, uh, there's a guy who just does unboxings, and you get to look at all the cool stuff yeah, that they my send. Friend Matt, my friend Matt must have 25, 30 videos of unboxings. Okay, well, she's, well, she's going to unbox a home pod. Be careful with that where you put it. I, I read today that they are they're doing damage to surfaces that you put them on. Really? Yeah. That's I, what I, read. What I read that today. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. Wait, hold on. We got to show it to you since it's still on the floor. There we go. Wow. It, it, just it, like it, she just ordered a giant apple dildo. Uh, <laughs> That's some um, dildo. There's nothing on the bottom of it. I don't know why it would. Do uh, that. Yeah, but be, in in back of that, if you were to take that off, which you can't do, right? Oh, look! It looks like his computer. It looks like his yeah. uh, his Mac Pro. Yeah, uh, but anyway. Uh, uh, if you take the if you were to take the bottom off, which you can't do, I've seen online uh, in there are some uh, electronics, so they could get maybe hot or something else, and okay. and maybe maybe put it on a coaster or something like that, you know. All right, but I'll put it on glass. And, and, one and not flammable. Supposedly they say the sound is good, but it's not as good as some of the other products. It's certainly better than the Alexa because the Alexa isn't meant to be a super audio product. This Can't is, you get auxiliary speakers for these things? That, uh, are higher, higher, higher. Oh, everybody Not wants yet. to see you unbox that thing. Can you? Yeah. Will you be able to plug it in while we're sitting here? And, Take it off. Take it all off. Is, now, Zuma. how much wire do they give you there? What is that? This actually, it is the wire. It's a, it's a whole other unit with just the the actual wire. So hold on a second. We could take this apart. It, so I mean, the do, they give you a lot of wire so you can hook it far away or whatever. No, you. It's Bluetooth. All you need to do is put this near electrical. This yeah, is just I mean, electrical. Just I don't need to. I don't need to hook it up to anything else other than electricity. It'll all be run off of my iPhone. Yeah. I, it's all Bluetooth. This is the only thing. This is an ACDC. And, and, and so you plug that in. That's how it gets its power, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then the rest of the controls are all done off of your iPhone. Does, does that, does that uh, cord plug into the HomePod? Is there like a, no. a plug there? It plugs uh, into the wall. No, but it's I mean, it, it's got to have like, a, it's got to be like a plug that you can plug into the HomePod. Because if it isn't, suppose that thing gets ripped out of there. Isn't that the home pod? Yeah. The whole thing? Yeah. That's yeah. the whole thing. It's the whole so thing. But I'm so talking about I'm talking about the wire that's going to the home pod. Is does it just go right into the home pod yep. or is it a looks like it? It's um, ACDC. There's oh. no wire. Well, yeah, what, wire well, what happens if you accidentally rip the uh, the the wire out? 
you know, that's trash. that's why you have plugs <laughs> that plug yeah, into most of these. Trash. Things. You, yeah, well, uh, I don't, I, he, don't do that, Alex. You don't rip the cords off the co cable. I know you don't rip the cords off the cable. Well, that sounds like Bill Cosby. You don't rip the cobs what off the to cable. You drop it off the top of your roof. Uh, yeah. That well, it, here's the thing. I read that. That, that they say that if you want these things break and you want to fi have them fixed, uh, did you get the warranty with it, by the way? Did you get the uh, Apple Care? No, but Phil, remind me to tell you something. Well, wait a minute, because the Apple Care, uh, if you don't have that, they're going to charge you something like $200 to fix it. No, yes, yeah, so well, I don't normally have move. Apple Care, but in this particular case, I might buy it only because I live on an island and I don't know what else to do. You have it. You, 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 you have it plugged you in right now because the light much. is on on the top. Okay. Did you it, hear it? Yeah. And can, can yeah, can you talk to it? Do you say Siri? Hey Siri. You're probably got to get on your wireless network. You got to do all the settings. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to set it up via my phone. Well, just yeah. say Hey Siri and see if anything happens. Nothing is going to happen yet. Hey Siri, are you there? No, sorry, no. not present. No, no Siri. What do you want for three hundred bucks? Three hundred and forty-five bucks, isn't it? Well, how much is that thing? Three hundred and forty-nine dollars. Mm. And. And just so that you know, I've already complained to them because I want a couple more dummy speakers and I want to buy them separately and put them in a couple of the rooms because while this is an open concept house, there are certain walls and I find that my internet sucks because of the walls. So I'm going to assume the Bluetooth on this might have problems and they don't have the new ones in production yet where I don't have to, if I wanted more right now, I have to pay another $350 to get more. Well, if you want I'm, stereo, you have to buy another one. This thing should put out what you need when you watch a movie without well, a problem. The you point know, is, the point is it, it is not stereo, however. That I know. You know. Without two speakers. You know how the Bose, uh, you know, home system, uh, you know, creates that surround sound. By the way, our viewership jumped the minute you unbox that thing. Oh. <laughs> so hold it up and let them see the thing. Hold it up closer to your camera and let them see it. There it Unboxing. is, ladies and gentlemen. There's, f that's the box. Let's see the home pod. There we are. That's it, folks. And another uh, unboxing you know. is one of the biggest items on uh, YouTube. Really? Yes. yes. Oh, yep. yeah. And we just plugged it in, so it's what I call breathing. And and you <laughs> can't get to show the packaging. You got to show how it's packed. Even the you know the little pellets. Well, are, we should uh, have her the set phone. the thing up and get it going. Yeah. I know. Did you want to come to my house and set up all of my equi audio equipment? But, but you know, all you have to do <laughs> is uh, all you have to do is just hook get it so it's a going with the Wi-Fi, and then you can do all the stuff you need to do with it talking to me when I'm trying to spell something. Go ahead. <laughs> what are you trying Sorry. to spell? No, I need to pick up. Oh, wait, it just showed up. I'm like, look, I yeah. haven't even looked at any apps. I was trying to pull up the HomePod app and look what Shut just up. showed up on my phone. Well, you know what happens with the Alexa app that I had? I, I, bought, I bought the, uh, oh, God, I cut my phone. I cut my phone. Hey, here. Alexa is so. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, no, wait a minute. I, I have the Alexa app, right? So I ordered, wait a minute, hold on a second. I ordered the Echo Spot. As soon as I ordered it, it came up on my Alexa app. Oh, really? Good. So that's what's happening with you there. Hold on a second. I'm going to sneeze. Gesundheit. He doesn't sneeze. He doesn't sneeze like a guy. So we're waiting. Ah, ah, there oh, we go. Yes, and I have music. He's got a sneeze switch. Okay. So, you know what? That was a very good point, and I didn't say anything when I should have. Yeah. According to what I've read, you have to have Apple Music in order to make your HomePod play the music. That's correct. And when you have a, and guess what happens when you have an Alexa? You have to have their Amazon Music. Right. Same. Now, Amazon. Oh, wait a minute. Said Did I just hear something? It did something. Yeah, it, it's telling you it's connected. Oh, is is it really? IPhone. Say, hey, Siri, now and see what happens. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not hey, it's still spinning. Oh, it's still spinning. Right? Okay, signing in. You're going to have to get to a point and you're going to have to put in your Wi-Fi password and everything to get it on your Wi-Fi network. 
probably just well, get, go we to have phone. we have the most people watching us right now that we've had all night because she's uh, unboxing an an i uh, home pod. We're up to thirty one. Come on. No, yeah. no. Actually, yeah. here I, I see. Really, I really thir- I see thirty five. Thirty three. Thirty five. Open the box and look at the packaging. Hi Siri. Say hey Siri. What hey. can you do? Hey Siri. What can you do? I can do lots of things, like turn on the lights, give you a news update, and tell you about the weather. Now you try. Say, hey, Wait, Siri. Well, why has he got, why is he got, an, Aus- hey. why is he got hey. an Australian Siri, accent? Siri, some music. It was an import. <laughs> no. Oh, no, I have, so if you guys don't know this, you can change your yeah. Siri. Well, wait a minute. Hey, it, yeah, yeah, but you've got an Australian there. Yes, mine is a guy, and he's an Aussie. Where, where'd you get it from, Australia? No, it's an Apple choice. There's only it's, three choices. It choice. picks up your. It picks up the flavor on your phone. Whatever you had your phone yeah. set to. So my hey, phone is set to store, Renee, Wait. is there an Apple store on your island? Uh, there used okay. to be, but then now the only Apple reseller here is some jackass that has truck stickers all just, over his just car. Just say, "Hey Siri, what time is it?" Hey Siri, what time is it? It's eleven thirty-five p.m. That's the my phone going out. Yeah. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 6.35 p.m. Hey Siri, what time is it in New York City? In New York, New York, it's 11.35 p.m. Actually, the sound sounds pretty good coming out of So the deal is, is I haven't done anything to my phone, but when I turn this on, it notified my phone yeah. that it was there and that I needed that it wanted to set up so I started my setup via the phone so well, how d- much d- don't don't play any music though because I have nothing but trouble from YouTube okay I don't think he has the service yet well actually I do but I only have two I only have like six songs so um, yeah. because I just got it. here's well, what happened have- to me yesterday I did a new promo <laughs> I did a new promo for I did redid uh, Rob I redid the uh, uh, the um, uh, you know what's on Gabnet spot. Mm-hmm. I just took your voice as we normally do, and I put in different audio right. in there. So I freshened it up, and I got some new music from uh, a place we go called Audio Blocks, where we pay so much per year, like a hundred dollars a year, and we can use all the music we can eat. All right, uh, royalty free. So I put this music on it. So last night uh, we do the video here, right? And it runs the, uh, uh, I run the, that spot. And it, a lot of people who listen to the recorded version don't hear those spots because that's what I cut off. But if you're doing it from the very beginning, what goes on is the spots, uh, the promos. And so what I did last night with the promos, I ran that new promo. And I get a thing from YouTube saying, you violated copyright. That's somebody else's music uh, where you can't monetize it, but they can blah, 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 if you want to dispute it, dispute it. And I disputed it by saying, I own this fucking music. I bought it. And then I got a hold of audio blocks, and they are uh, getting a hold of, of YouTube to complain about it. But this that's a perfect example of why I don't want you to play music, because if you play somebody, uh, I'm in... Uh, D, they will actually it will pick that up. Because this was only music under his voice and under a bunch of voices, and it picked it up, you know. So. Oh, lost Scott. We well, lost Scott. So, hey, uh, what's this about uh, CNET saying uh, that uh, Chrome, uh, uh, Google Chrome, is ad blocking, uh, uh, and it's changing the way that you view the web because it's it's blocking online ads. Uh, really? Yeah, I I, I think, kind of think that's nice. And then it said that Elon Musk is doing something uh, with broadband from outer space. And uh, the FCC is behind it. So uh, th- that's an interesting thing, too. I don't know the full story, mm-hmm. but, uh, you know, I guess uh, the rocket that they sent up is, is doing something to give broadband uh, from outer space. So that would bring it to areas of the world where it isn't accessible. Well, what I think. Yeah. Go ahead. What were you going to say, Rob? I was going to say, for my money, you're talking about what's interesting. I think the most real interesting news story today is that Congress has decided to actually figure out they, they're they're actually going to do a whole uh, what do they call them? They don't they're not trials, but they're going to do a a study or whatever on on what happened with this whole 
invest uh, their investigation. There's the word on uh, what happened with uh, this whole debacle with um, uh, Porter. Hmm. I think that, and this is the Republicans in Congress. Good. I think that's uh, awesome. Yeah. And I, and uh, I, I and and I understand. Now, I don't know. I wonder how his uh, his supporters in West Virginia and all this are going to feel because Trump has suggested a twenty five cent gas tax increase in order to pay help pay for his um, his uh, porn star. No, <laughs> not as porn stars. His uh, for his uh, infrastructure bill. So now he's going to be taxing all these people who don't make any money. They're going to love him. Mm-hmm. Here is a, here is a yeah. notion that somebody a girlfriend today had, and a couple other people have had lately. Um, they're thinking about dropping Facebook. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody is getting a little sick of Facebook and the way in which they are handling what they consider uh, serious national problems. Well, Good. what's happening is uh, Facebook isn't appealing to the millennials anymore. They're going for Snapchat. No, that's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. Did, were you going to play music there for a second? Uh, don't do it. I Otherwise, I'm going to get a, one of these things it, from... What know. it has to do with people going away from Facebook. Yeah. Uh, you know, as I was just adding to your conversation that people are going away from Facebook. I'm looking at it less. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm actually uh, taking people and uh, uh, doing there's something you can do so that for 30 days you don't have to see their stuff uh, and, unless you go to their page. Well, here's the thing that's bother, the bothered girlfriend is that they've started an algorithm at Facebook that will limit you to about 12 people to see on your on your uh, headlines or whatever. Oh. I'll be okay. Uh, well, uh, no. She says she wants to read about it a lot more than that because she has a lot more friends than that, and they're they're starting to limit that. Uh, you know, I left them and went to YouTube because I have less problems with YouTube, both technologically, in which it's absolutely superior. In all the, the about three weeks we've been using it, it has never glitched once. Okay, it's been just a beautiful stream going out. Um, but I, I, I was always having all kinds of problems with Facebook. You know, it, rather than send you a note like YouTube does saying you are in, not in compliance with copyright, somebody owns the copyright to that song, and I then can dispute it and say, hey, you're wrong, I own that, maybe you, you know, your, your algorithms picked up a different song or whatever. With Facebook, there was no notification. What, with Facebook... They simply stopped the broadcast. Mm. You know, rather than blank the sound out or whatever, you just stopped the broadcast. I, I don't need that kind of uh, situation. I remember you saying that uh, YouTube had the anti-nudity thing. It was actually Facebook. That friend of mine uh, mm. who uh, sh uh, shot the nude photos, Yeah, um, he had the cover of one of his books had a woman's breast pre pressing up against the inside of a glass door. Yeah. And, and it was sort of a foggy kind of thing. Yeah. He got thrown off for 30 days. Uh, okay, I'll give you ten, five seconds. No, okay, no, 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 no music. Don't give us yeah. any music. No, none, zero. Okay? Because if you do it, I'm, you know, I'm going to get a notification, and I don't want that. I don't need that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, she turned off her audio and she's dancing to the music. I get it. Uh, you know, you could like ask it to play our program. I think that we we're on we're on uh, we're on uh, iTunes. You know. Yeah. She. she yeah, it's kind of like uh, slapback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does that. I love my little uh, my little uh, Alexa spot, uh, Echo spot. Yeah. Uh, it's terrific, yeah. I mean, lying there by the bed, I see the it works as the clock, bedside clock. If I want to, you know, have it wake me up, I just say set the alarm for such and such tomorrow morning, and th that's it. You know, when I, I when I wake up, I ask for my flash briefing, and it plays me a Reuters video of the day's a five minute compendium of the day's news. 
I I used to have a thing I bought from Sharper Image years ago, a yeah. bedside clock, and you could press the button to get the sound. <laughs> wait, 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 hey, hey, no, no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 is that you, Scott? Don't do that. No, I didn't do nothing. I'm just laughing at you. Oh, so uh, this thing. Let's say you want right. the oh, sound oh. of of a brook. Uh, or a river or rain and you, you press different buttons and you get those things that would help you fall asleep uh can you do that with the spot uh, what, what what is she playing bruno, bruno mars. mars bruno mars okay fine why don't you just cut it cut it cut it if i think she likes <laughs> she's got to finish with the song god she's just a troublemaker tonight yeah like a kid yeah. at Christmas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why I don't sing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and well, I, I don't think that the algorithms at YouTube will be able to decipher your singing anyway. You know. Oh, God, thank you. But you know what, Rob, you have a very good point about all of that. I, I, I completely agree with Rob's statement on it. I, I just don't, I just think it's just, Why? Why, why do we have to come back here? By the way, Forbes Colossus says, Renee, you're mental. It's a talk show. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, and then he that? says, Renee's epileptic seizure. <gasps> oh, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great place to get epilepsy out there in paradise. There you go. Right? Not a chance. Right? I can put, I can put the no-no song on from... Um, from uh, What's no her songs. Name? No, no, it says no. It says the whole song is no. You want my phone number? No. You want my name? No. You want my digits? No. Sounds Just like my mother. No. I go out and play? No. <laughs> now, my, my, question, no. my question is, how many of you out there listening and how many here on the panel, since it's a very small panel tonight, uh, are afraid of these things sitting there in your house because, quite frankly, they have a microphone in them. You can actually, so, uh, okay, so hold on. You can turn off this guy, but the other ones, like the Alexa and those, they don't turn off. Well, I can, I pull, a, I can pull the plug out of the wall on the Alexa and it won't be able to hear anything. But I can make this guy stop listening. You guys I have a problem. Other... Most women I went out with turned off. Right. <laughs> well, the, the issue is, is you heard about the the whole case, right? Some guy had a uh, one of the Alexas, and there was a murder that happened in the house, and they had the police officers had to go to court in order to get the transcripts of what Alexa heard, might have heard, and they had to get them to release all of that documentation. But they were the police are actually okay. thinking that it was recorded on the Alexa. Well, that's a good thing because you need a warrant. Uh, otherwise, if you get if you obtain that evidence, that evidence could be uh, challenged because it wasn't obtained with a warrant. So, yeah, and they did go that route, but it's it was one of the first cases ever of one of these assistants being tapped in that way because the owners of it are dead. So, who do you get the warrant from? Because you can't get get it from a judge. Right. You get a warrant from a judge if you have probable cause to feel that you're going to be able to gain that evidence. To... Right. So, so some of these, if if a, what I read on CNET is correct, some of them can turn off and you can ask them not to record things or, excuse me, not to listen in. And some of them you actually have to pull the plug from the wall. But I don't remember which ones they were talking about. Other than this guy, you can tell him to stop recording, to stop listening. So because he's got an Aussie accent, it's a him? Yeah. You can die. Sure, I haven't named this guy, but yeah. my I like my series that talks and uh, I like Australia. So can you use any name? Because in mine, I have a choice of names, and it's a good reason why. Because if I used Alexa, hey Alexa, blah 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 blah, uh, uh, it, it might when somebody just says Alex, it might trigger it off. So we use Echo, and I say Echo. And uh, the other night I was talking about the echo to somebody and it said, yes. <laughs> you know? I mean, we, I'll tell you what, what's kind of interesting about it to me in that when I was a kid, I, I love science fiction. 
I love the idea of the world of the future. And there were always people in all these movies who were talking to a computer in their house saying, uh, open the door, close the door, do whatever, you know. And what that has become is fiction has become reality. You know how you talk to Siri and about 70% of the time she says, uh, I don't understand that. Or, uh, these you you want to know I what the problem do. with Siri is? Is exactly that. Siri is very bad artificial intelligence. On the other hand, Alexa, they, they did a test of all these various That's systems. Yeah. And Alexa supposedly had one of the best. Uh, she understands maybe 90% of what I say. You know, and see, that's what CNET I don't was saying. Well, what that's what, what? I don't that's what CNET was saying. They said, even though that Siri is, excuse me, even though that Alexa and Amazon and all the rest of them are further ahead in the voice recognition stuff mm -hmm. and what they can and can't assist you with, that, that, that it, the Apple piece doesn't have that, excuse me, Siri isn't on par with those others right at the moment but yeah. they're rolling out the software updates so in some point in time that this is going to be a more functional piece of equipment and you will have less to complain about but currently <laughs> siri yeah. is not as functional as the rest and you believe them it's software they should be able to yeah, but you know right siri was the first artificial intelligence of this sort to be out there with the phone and everything so they should be ahead of everybody rather than behind everybody but supposedly, uh, I find uh, Google's voice recognition pretty much spot on, and I find that the uh, Alexa is pretty spot on. But whenever I use Siri on my phone, half the time I have to, you know, say it again and again and again until she gets it right. Look, I'll I'm talking what, about Alexa. Not a person. Alexa, Alexa understands my wife's pretty thick accent. Surprise! Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, great. but there are people who complain that they have a but thick she, accent and they can't use Siri. So that was one of the things that CNET was talking about was that even though that Siri's in here, it's still the tool. Siri as a tool is not as advanced um, as the other options that are out there. But again, it's a software push. So I'm wondering why wondering Apple hasn't gone around buying every artificial uh, intelligence company they can to improve Siri to a point where nobody can touch them, but they apparently but haven't. Have, you know, but that's Steve Jobs is not running the company. That's yeah. why. That's how what Cisco did is they went out and they bought a whole bunch of companies and they tried to integrate them into the Cisco lifestyle and it didn't work. So there's got to be a balance here. You can't go out and buy a whole bunch of companies that do something different and expect yeah. them to work into your nomenclature. You have to say, okay. This might be worth purchasing, and then we can cram it into here. Yeah. But just to go out and buy it isn't going to help it. Yeah. So why did you buy that? You know, I mean, I, it's the last thing I would buy, actually. I mean, I have limited funds, but you probably do, too. Oh, look at the sunset in back of her. Uh, but that's I, kind of the issue, though. Yeah, you, 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 but yeah. see, I'm already in, it's the same thing you've already said. I'm already embedded in the Apple architecture. So, yeah, but I found yeah. that I got a, I got I got Alexa and then I got the Echo Spot, right? I got Echo and the Echo Spot. And I am embedded in the Apple architecture, but I found that this didn't make me an outsider at all. In fact, I can actually if I want to use two-way uh, uh two-way what is it? two-way uh, two-step activation or whatever. Um, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, if I want to do if I want to do that uh, yeah. I can uh, integrate all my Apple calendar and my Apple uh, phone book and everything into my Echo system or the eco Echo ecosystem. Uh, so uh, I can use it. See? Yeah, I don't think I don't feel like uh, I'm a I'm an Apple all Apple guy except I have Alexa. I've got I've got two of the yeah I don't remember what they're the taps. I have two taps. I've got yeah. one in my office, one in my home theater downstairs, and I've got the full size Echo in my kitchen. Yeah, and I you know because they do work with our phones, so I don't feel like I'm outside of the Apple ecosystem. Yeah, and as I say, if I do the two factor recognition thing, I can then sync my Apple contacts, my Apple calendar, all of that to my Alexa. So uh, I, I'm not out of the Apple ecosystem if I don't want to be. I just don't want yeah, to do that two-factor recognition right now. So the yeah. other 
Is it a pain in the ass? I think it is. What What do you do? It, it gives you some numbers or something, and you've got to always. Yeah, and and so every time like they think they forget who you are, and you got a lot where you got to log into a another like iCloud, you got to log in on a browser it doesn't recognize or whatever. It's a pain in the ass. What does it do? It asks you for the four digits or something, right? You gotta, yeah, but you got to have. I couldn't get it. I couldn't. Get, I mean, I'm. This is what I do for a living, and I'm struggling with it. I I said, what? The, I turned it off, and I said, that's the end of two factor authentication. It's the same thing. Don't need it. What, what? But you but you put in the four, it's only four numbers, right? Something like that. Right, but the I don't. And again, this is going back now about a year, so I, I don't remember the. It, it happened to me like three or four times where I logged into a browser and I couldn't do what I needed to do, especially when you're talking about upgrading your phone or doing something. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're, you're trying to fix your freaking phone and now you got to figure out why it is. You can't because your phone's not working. You can't get the text. Yeah. Oh, it's a nightmare. So I said, no more two factor authentication. Yeah. Well, they, they want to force you to use that. But if I had that, I could, uh, I could I could wind up using it on my uh, Echo. So the other theory behind this speaker is, which I haven't taken you in since it's been finished, and I'd have to switch computers, which I will do maybe next time. Is the other room is one big room, one great room, and instead of me figuring out the calibrations for the two speakers on the that have to be at the two foot, and then the two speakers that have to be in the bookshelf and to figure out where you're sitting and the whole setup for the entire room just to watch a movie because it is a open room. I figure if I go with this puppy, then I have a whole lot less calibration to do. And then I don't have to mess with the TV as much. Meaning if I'm watching a drama, I don't have to set the whole sound system to a drama. Right. If I'm watching a, a, a car chase movie like Baby Driver, which I'm waiting to see, and now I can see that I've got this thing here because I hear the soundtrack, the Baby Driver is really good. I don't have to set it up because I have a great room. This hopefully, shy of the subwoofer off a, a side of it, this should take care of both my bookshelf speakers and my floor speakers. Oh. I, I'm hoping. I, you know, but how can it power a room that is a large, uh, a large room you still got to have enough uh, thing to move the uh, to move the cone. You know, you got to have enough air moving the cone. And uh, what, what you think Apple people didn't go in there and figure out how uh, to make my speaker system? I have two Altec Lansing Voice of the Theater speakers. They have 15 inch woofers, 22 inch horns, and yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, well, here's uh, what I, here's you know, what I here's what I bought. Sound with that. Here's what I, I here, here's what I bought today. What is that? Are you put it in your nose? Huh? What is that? They're Bluetooth ear Bluetooth headset. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. And in antimotics? No. It's a twenty-five dollar. Uh, what's the name of the company? Uh, it looks. These look stupid, but they're great. What uh, are the sound ports? Did you sound hear that? Um, but anyway, I know that but, somebody's Apple, those buds that you got there, one of them blew up in somebody's ear. Yeah. Oh. That's because yeah. he was using it as a crack pipe. Well, all <laughs> I know is the audio is very good on this thing. And I'm thinking about maybe putting in a transmitter here so that I can just use it while I'm on the air here and move around a little more and not, not be tethered to this, you know. Well, I love my, them. My They're Bose, great. My Bose uh, ear things came apart again wait a minute you didn't get the apple You're did you crazy. wait a minute hold on a second renee did wait, you get the apple ear pod buds yes absolutely I they, did. The, they look oh, like they you got hash pipes in your ear and, and they do look like that but their sound is very good if you take them out of their your ears they turn when i take one out of my ear it turns off what if it falls out of your ear and you can't find no. it I I've been looking at the etymotics, uh yesterday and today since my thing's fallen apart. Yeah. This is like fourth time. Yeah. Uh, and it's off warranty. So there's etymotics that are three forty nine. No, you don't want that. No. No, you want the ones that are seventy nine bucks. Uh, the three forty nine ones are studio monitors. Well, that's fine. The fact <laughs> is that you want to use it with your iPhone, don't you? 
Yeah. Okay, well, those expensive ones don't have the switches and everything on them. And the yeah, because they're reference monitors. Studio <laughs> monitors are reference monitors. Everything flat. Yeah. Do you really don't, want don't that? Re hey, if for 79 <laughs> bucks, the Atomotics are just fine. They're, you'll love them. All right. Okay, and you can stick them in the and yeah. use them. I, I use the, these are the Atomotics right here that I'm using right here. No, I'll get the okay. custom. Uh, you know, I'll give them the molds so that when I order them, just get uh, just get the foams like I do, and you squeeze them and you put them in your ear, and then it makes a nice smooth. Uh, it's nothing job. like a custom plug. Oh God! Oh, you, you, you. We won't see it till Monday, right? Tuesday. Have a good Tuesday. Weekend. Excuse me, Tuesday. Good. Right. That'll, that'll be good. Everybody, <laughs> call tomorrow night, will you? Rob, thank you for joining us. Phil, thank you for joining us. Scott, thank you. And Renee, with your new, uh, you, you actually made our viewership go up with your uh, with your HomePod. Everybody wants to see the HomePod. Renee, I'll Skype you to get that question right. that you wanted me to answer. Yeah. Everybody, Hello. wave goodbye. We got to say good night. Uh, there they go. There goes the citizen panel. Hopefully, we'll see you again tomorrow night, except for Phil. And uh, in the meantime, I got to do a little signing off here of stuff. Let me remind you that coming up next to Jack and Amy, it's with a show called, yes, you know it, uh, the, uh, uh, let me see here. Did I, did I sign everybody off? Okay, I did. Okay, I'm gone. That's good. Uh, anyway, we're going to, uh, Jack and Amy are next with the intersection. And right after that, at 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern Time, uh, 10 o'clock out on the West Coast, uh, it's going to be Connections. And then tomorrow night at uh, 9.30, Damien is here with the exchange, and he sets up the table for me, uh, and I go on at 10. I'll see you tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>